Hello everyone, welcome back to Cosmo's Universe. Today is a vlog. I'm going to be talking about loads of things in this vlog, and I don't know how long it will be. I'm going to try not to make it more than 15 minutes, which for a vlog is actually pretty long, 10 minutes ideally. And I'm going to be talking about four main things, which will be sort of subdivided into little things. The first one is the status of my channel, the changes to YouTube. The third thing is going to be the bulk of this video, which is just going to be all the future plans of content ideas of and last of all is talking about news that's number four it's pretty much like youtube the bigger picture pewdiepie all the stuff that's been going which you may already know about let's get right into it we'll roll the intro all right guys so First thing I want to talk about is my channel. I know it's a small channel, microscopic on the scale. I think 75 subscribers. I've got I'm about 65 videos, I think. But actually, I'm really proud of what I've done. Uh, it's it, it, I just I'm impressed that I've really stuck with this because I've known a few other guys who have tried, but they haven't managed to stick with this. I'm not saying I'm the only one who sticks with things. Um, there are a few other YouTubers, you know, just kids like me from school, and I'm gonna have links hopefully on the screen about here. If not, it's all in the description. Go check it out. I just want to say thank you for all the support, all the likes, comments, views, even just views and subscribers. That's what's the most important. It's quite nice to see that people are actually taking an interest in some of the things I do. It's really just sort of sharing ideas with the community. It's just brilliant. Thank you. Uh, so another thing I want to talk about is view balances. I know this is a variety channel, so some videos will get more views than others. You'll have some people who will watch my Minecraft videos and some people who will watch my animations. There might be some people who watch both. I just want to say that's fine. I know some of my videos don't get as much views. <laughs> I'm not complaining because I know which videos I didn't, which didn't necessarily put less effort into, but just weren't as good. But while I'm here, I just want to quickly promote playlists and animations. So first of all, playlists. Every single one of my videos is on a playlist somewhere. That I've enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I just wanted to put that to you because I know they're not used much, but if you're interested in like watching more than one video at a time of a similar kind or like my pink catch up, you could do that, of course. There's always the watch later button, which is pretty handy, but I was just letting you know. Animations as well, I would really encourage all of you to watch my animations. I know you might not be interested, if not, it's fine. But I do put the most hard work, these they take a lot of time and patience to make. Not just with filming, making sure it's got a decent frame rate, which, you know, so far I haven't really got. But also, you know, the editing of, like, putting all the frames together, overlaying the sound. Okay, so the second set of notifications is changes to YouTube. And I just wanted to just quickly kind of run over these in case they, you know, are of any importance. So, first of all, is the comment section. YouTube's made a few updates involving the comment section where um, I, or, you know, the creator can pin comments. But yeah, I, I mean, what I'm saying is that, you know, if you guys have got any ideas, or criticisms or anything, anything other than hate, I will allow in the comments because if, if you hate, I will just remove the comments. What I do. The other thing is the end screen. My outro isn't that good. It's really, it's just the background waving a bit with me voicing over and some annotations. YouTube's created this new thing called the end screen with the links and stuff, which you'll have seen other people do. Now, because I'm, you know, slow, I've not actually done these end screens yet. So I'm leaving the outro as it is until the end of this year. And I know the outro is crap, but most people don't even watch it or even watch past it where i sometimes put a cheeky uh, post outro these end screens are going to come to effect next year it's not going to be anything different i'm just probably going to have the logo with the crew on it like you know on the banner um and the annotations come up with you know my channel a link to playlist maybe all the previous or something I'll work so out. now we're coming on to number three which is going to be the main bulk of this video which is future content plans um and what this is is just Content genre, so I'm gonna, this is gonna be the longer part of the video now, but I'm gonna run through all the different kind of genres in no particular order, I'm just sort of reading off my notes here. Um, so here we go. The first of all is The Thought Films. The original Thought Films were a little series where I did kind of educational videos, but they weren't like typical, you know, school content, or most of it wasn't. It was kind of like wacky science, maths, a bit of philosophy maybe, I don't know. And to be honest, they were crap. The content was alright, and I did credit my sources, I think, in the descriptions, but it's the way it was, it was just me talking, there were a couple of diagrams, but they were, they were so cheap and rubbish. And even when I had the subtext in the diagrams, there was no sound or anything, it was boring. That, I'm not going to delete my old videos because they're rubbish. They're a reflection of my early days, and there is a show of how much I've progressed. 
So what I want to do is remaster the original series, recreate the same episodes and a series two, about 20 episodes, two series, starting from next year. Uh, what it is, is there'll be like images which have transitions and maybe zooms or something, I don't know, with me talking over the top and a few visual effects, just to make it look a bit better, but also to be a bit more memorable. I'm going to try and make them shorter as well, so there's just to be going, uh, and um, I don't think there was a whole lot of that, but there might have been. And yeah, that's it for the thought films, but yeah, there's going to be more of that, so you know, stay tuned. If you've got an idea for the thought thought films, please let me know below because stuck for ideas and some of them might not actually be that good. It can be anything really. Philosophy, science, maths, just something interesting, something which I can talk about and, you know, have a discussion in the comments maybe. And who knows, I might pin your comment. The next one is Five Nights at Freddy's. So in the Halloween special, I did a little animation with Jumbling Goosey here, and I even included Five Nights at Freddy's um, as the kind of main thing. This is an official Funko action figure of Freddy Fazbear, um, and They've been released now. I've actually collected them all. I've got the whole collection behind the screen. I'm not going to show you yet because, you know, surprises. I played it as well, which it was all right. It wasn't really that good. And I've recently come back to play it because I originally got the four games as a pack back in March. What I want to do is I do a series called Five Nights at Freddy's Challenges. I thought I'd get more negative responses about playing the game because I know some people hate it. But actually, what I'm saying is that I love the game for what it is, what Scott's done, really. Um, but I've got all the games. What I want to do is a series of challenges where... No particular order anything, I sort of mix it up and I play all like the hardest difficulties. For example, like 420 mode, probably won't beat, there are only a few people in the world, but I might type for like 410 or 415. Night 6, custom nights from FNAF 2, uh, might even play Sister Location, FNAF World, if you really want it. The next one is Let's Plays and Minecraft. I'm going to put these two together because they're kind of similar really. So my gaming video series is absolute... Um... BS. To be honest, Minecraft videos are slowly getting better. It's kind of, it really kicked off with the Redstone video. That one was alright. Celebrating 1.9 was good. I've actually changed the name now to um, Mindplex uh, Minigames with Tasha or something. You can, you'll find it on the playlist. Like I said, check out my Minecraft playlist. What was the last one I did? It was Hardcore Survival, I think. That was alright. Part 1 wasn't that good, but Part 2 was alright, I think, personally with the edits and the content. And, but I think I'm going to try and do more interesting Minecraft videos with like mod reviews Mod reviews, that was it, that was my last one. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, no, I did the Mutant Mods review, that was great. Mod reviews, challenges, that kind of thing. And I'm going to keep all the edits and stuff, because I think they're really funny and no one's complained about those. Uh, so that's fine. The thing I just want to add to this is that if I'm not being lazy, there'll be a poll somewhere on this side of the screen, I think, about the Minecraft video lengths. How long do you think it should be? Because uh, Mutant Mobs review, it's a good video, I think, but it was half an hour long. And as for Let's Plays, um, I've only actually played 2048 and three of the um, .io games, Agario, Slitherio, and DPO. To be honest, they were all rubbish, they were all absolute garbage, complete waste of time, except maybe Slitherio. I thought Slitherio was actually alright, to be honest, with edits and the content as well, but I'm just not good at those games. So what I'm going to do... Vlogs, like this one. I've been thinking about completely redoing vlogs, to be honest. The first eight, rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Didn't even have their own titles. Vlog 9 was alright. That was kind of the end of an era, beginning of a new one with the whole, you know, meet the crew, Cosmos Universe, no, Dr. Cosmo. And since then, I've tried, you have you may have noticed I've done, you know, proper thumbnails for them. I've tried to do more interesting stuff, like having a bit of animation when I was talking with Terry and Nick, and like walking in the woods and stuff. I just want to vary it more. But there's not really any point in me talking about my personal life, because I don't want to bring my personal life here. My YouTube channel, it's kind of something else, it's just entertainment. What I might be better off talking about is not in the channel, because that's not going to last very long. Wider discussions of things that are happening in the news, maybe reacting to other YouTube videos. Hopefully I'll put a poll as well up here for this one. Uh, that should be good. And the next thing is the Christmas video. Now, I would do an animation, I just don't have time. Sorry. I mean, animations in the future, I haven't really got much to say because I'm just going to keep going with Origins. It's going to be six parts, I think, and each one's going to be a few minutes long. And I'll put them into one video with a special intro or something. Somewhere late 2017, early 2018, depends when I finish it. Jumble and Goosey will keep going. I've had, I've written scripts for the next race, but I've just not found the time. It might be like March before I even film the next Jumbling Goosey animation, if so, sorry, but I will include them somewhere else, somehow I think. I've also got Freddy here, and um, this action figure, which I got from Forbidden Planet a couple of months ago, is literally Sherlock Holmes. Hold on, let me follow that. Yeah, it's literally Sherlock Holmes, so I can include him somehow, maybe. That could be really cool, really funny. I've also got the props, there's a skull. There's like, you know, the world's smallest violin with a bow. There's a... Like the world's tiniest phone that I like. Look at that. It's tiny. 
That brings me on to something else. I've deleted two videos in this channel so far. One, Nick's new job, which was a somewhat experimental idea which I had for Terry and Nick, which was just a complete flop in my opinion. I think I've also deleted the actual file on my laptop, so I don't think it actually exists anymore. The other video is the interview, as in the Donald Trump interview, with George McKenda as Donald Trump. It was quite funny, actually, and George really helped me out with that. It was just because he had this Trump mask, we thought, oh, let's do this, it'll be funny. But I've had to delete it, uh, not because I thought it would offend loads of people. I was a bit anxious when I first started, because I thought, hold on a sec, this actually might not be very funny, it might offend a lot of people. But it seemed like a good idea at the time. But I actually can't tell you the reason I deleted it. It's personal reasons to do with filming and stuff, but it's nothing to worry about. All I'm saying is that I'm afraid it's gone forever, you can't see it. But it did have 65 views. I think it was about eight likes, which is a lot. I'm, I'm assuming most of you already saw that anyway. In fact, some of you may have even rewatched it for it to get 65. The, tra the trailer's still up. There's no point saying that down, but yeah, that's just the kind of memory, really. The last thing I want to talk about is Christmas video, and it's going to be a Let's Play. Um, it's going to be the start of, you know, better Let's Play videos with Tasha. That's all I'm saying. I've been thinking about Tasha doing her own videos, like solo videos, without me, just her playing a game or like her own sort of slot on this channel. Um, and I've asked her, you know, maybe you could create your own channel, but I don't want to put that kind of, you know, stress on it, because she doesn't have to. This thing can take up your time if you don't manage it properly. And luckily for me, I'm, on the scale of things, not a very busy, hardworking person. So I've found time for it. Some of it's all right, some of it isn't so good. And that's everything for number three. So number four, one of the last things I want to say is about YouTube itself and the bigger picture because there's been a few problems with this year. Do you remember when PewDiePie, Markiplier and Matthew Santoro all released a video roughly titled YouTube has changed? Or when they released that new policy with those vague rules that were trying to, I don't know, turn YouTube into a kid's channel maybe? Or the time that they, you know, messed up the algorithm so much that your subscription feed would be full of rubbish and channels you were subscribed to were the videos weren't appearing in there. Or all the stuff like that. YouTube, I think, has its flaws. Now, I still love YouTube because it's a platform, it's my favourite social media where I can post all this rubbish and get people to watch it. But the thing about YouTube is that it keeps changing. They don't communicate with their content creators enough. What they've done this year is that they introduced some policies, videos that had swearing, rude language, uh, nudity, sexual references, political references or war references or something, and uh, violence. Could not, You can't make money off those anymore. Um, I know I don't know if that actually got changed back or fixed or anything, but it was, first of all, the rules were vague. They were incredibly vague. But second of all, people watching YouTube videos and people creating YouTube videos should know what they're getting into. There are games which are violent, which people play, but they also enjoy, not because of the violence, but because of what that game has to offer for them and for the viewers. You know, sometimes swearing is just a reaction in the game. Like, if you're playing a horror game or something, you get, you know, one of them jump scares or I don't know. Or... It might just be used for comedic effect. And like, there's a lot of good reasons why, you know, these things should be allowed. But the other thing is that people should know if what they're watching is suitable for them anyway. And there is a YouTube Kids app, which is pretty much, you know, blocks all this stuff. Like, that's the thing. I mean, these rules aren't necessary. And also, political and war, like, references or something like that, that, sound, that sounds really cynical to me, to be honest. Because I think there's a lot, a lot to be said about politics and war this year, a lot. But, I mean, if you want me to talk about this kind of stuff regularly and with vlogs, I'll do it, sure. It's not much. Just me talking to the camera, little editing, done. It's quite easy compared to my other videos. Really, that, I think I've said enough now. Um, that's probably all I should say. I've been recording this for over half an hour. So the very last things I want to say is I might take a break sometime next year. And when I say I mean actually stop publishing videos, stop making and publishing videos for maybe a month or two. Now that might sound like a bit of a shock, to be honest, but when you think about it, I've actually been YouTubing non-stop since I started a year and a half ago, even though the videos aren't exactly frequent. The only reason I'm saying this is because it might get in the way. YouTube, this is a hobby, this is my free time, this is nothing important, really, this doesn't benefit me in any way. Well, it does benefit me, but other people aren't going to see it that way. Really, I should be practicing my piano or revising for GCSE right now. Because I'm in year 10, if you didn't know. I mean, I, I actually did practice uh, for a little bit before this. But what I'm saying is that if this gets in the way of the day-to-day -day insanity that is secondary school life, then I will have to stop for a bit. But I don't ever plan on stopping. I think I think it's good. I think it's brilliant. And I think I've also talked long enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, it might be worth considering clicking the bell icon next to my subscribe button. Because... Another thing YouTube's messed with is videos not appearing in your subscription feed from channels you're more active on. 
as opposed to channels you're not active on, who you're still subscribed to because you forgot to unsubscribe. Now, personally, I've not had much of these problems because I'm my channel's like that big. And, uh, you won't have had these problems with my channel, but to big YouTubers, all the analytics, likes, views, plummeted, or they've just gone higher than the population of Earth, which is just not right. Um, so yeah, that's the bell icon. If you it basically gives you an extra notification, push an email, um, and if it annoys you, then you guess you can turn it off. But I would recommend doing that. Not necessarily with my channel, but with the other channels, just in case. So, now that I'm finally done, thank you so much for watching. See me in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. The support is greatly appreciated, and it also helps me decide what's most popular, guiding the channel towards creating better content for you. Click the link on the screen to watch more content. Please share this video so you can talk about it with your friends. Finally, don't forget to subscribe for more regular content from Cosmos Universe. Thanks for watching everyone, you are the reason I make entertainment for people. You'll see me in the next video. Until then, farewell.